Today we're going to make first contact with a new galaxy. That is why I'm on the side of my freighter right now. Because if you want to travel to a different galaxy, you need more than your spaceship can do. You need the power of a freighter. So, we're going to use the freighter warp map, and we are going to change the destination to Free Explore. I'm going to turn my filter to Life Form, and let's start mapping out. We are looking for a galaxy that does not have any data available. This might take a little while, but that's all right. There we go. The Itubra Amiza. <laughs> Let's warp there now. And there we are. There are five planets within this system. Now, we could go out to the stars, to space, and scan them individually. Or we could save a lot of time and activate a planetary probe, which will give us data on all of them. Let's do that now. Alrighty. Here we are, the five planets. You love a bubbling planet. Ionzai, Anaz 32W2, an isotopic planet, Ugan, Ayanu, a sub zero planet, Mouth 9, <laughs> it's called Mouth 9, and it's a violent planet. <laughs> okay. Or there's the Big 8. A frostbound planet. Okay, so they generate these names. Mouth 9. Let's view all information gathered on this planet. The weather, incinerary winds, sentinels are isolated, flora is low, fauna is abundant. We've made first contact. We might as well just check it out. How often do you get to visit a planet called Mouth 9? <laughs> oh yeah. There's all my spaceships. I was using that one before. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go to this one. This one I just found. And I've named it Edge Runner. You know, gotta represent Night City. It's kind of got some cyberpunk coloring. Alrighty. And there we are. Let's find. Mouth 9, not that one. Is that it? There it is. So, let's use our pulse engine to get there. Okay, let's get out a little bit. There we go. Oh my, a minute away in pulse drive, that's okay. So basically what we're going to do today, because I have a feeling I'm not going to want to set up shop on Mouth 9, could be wrong, but we'll see what this planet has to offer. 
might surprise us. If not, we'll go back to the freighter and we'll try to find another galaxy. I know, we're going crazy. We're going to find another galaxy. Because for me, and I don't know why, I want to find vacation type planets. You know, planets I would want to go to for rest and relaxation. So hopefully we can find something and if we do, I'm going to want to set up base there. I won't go crazy, but just to set up establishment, you know, shelter, obviously, would be very important in a planet you want to spend a vacation on. Alright, well, here we go. Mouth 9. Entering the atmosphere. Hmm. Yeah. It is very empty. But. I don't know. These mountains are pretty sweet. Whoa. Did a little miscalculation on that. There we go. Let's go back down. All right. We'll get a little bit closer. Just adjusting this mic. Here we go. All right. Well, there's not a lot of great places to land, even. There you go, that's mouth nine. And, uh, yeah, let's go call our freighter to us. And we're going to go back inside. So I've found another galaxy with no data available. We're going to warp there. First contact. Three planets. Two moons. Well, let's activate our probe. Yes. <laughs> Wyve, a decaying nuclear planet. Arcast Minor cloudy planet, way 8, a shattered planet, Karitarwa Prime, Azura planet, and Hukam, an ultramarine planet. Okay. These could be promising, actually. Which one was this? Decaying nuclear planet. Cloudy planet. Oh yeah. Oh, an azure moon. Let's just get into a bit of a better position. And there we go. All right. 
That one's not too far. It looked like it would be a little bit further. Those rings can be deceptive. Right. It's very soothing. Gentle blue. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what that means. The azure. The light is very, uh, different on these type of planets. Some consider to be unnatural but obviously it's case to case basis this is a, its own moon so this is its natural habitat alright let's do a scan can we see anything alright well let's touch down and see if there's anything worth exploring here Before we go, I'm just going to take a sip of coffee. All right. Now, I have unfathomable storms. That's what it said. I've changed to first person view with my camera uh, just to. You know, I don't need to be in this. I just need to show you the beautiful environments we run into. I have no idea what this is up ahead. I actually haven't seen anything like this. See, it just goes to show you. There's still new discoveries to be made. Hexaberry. Okay. Let's enter our scanner vision. Analysis mode, as they say. The burial site over there. Some indium. Indium. I'm so bad with these words. Okay, well. That looked like the only thing of interest. So, let's tag it. And we'll head that way. Let's put a little pep in our stuff. Let's get running. Holy. Oh. My. God. Oh. Whoa. Oh Jesus, what is this thing? Oh my God. Alright, so, yeah. That just happened. Ever seen a space worm? Not fun. Not cool. Holy crap. Whew. Okay. Let's let's keep going to this burial site. Oh man, what did we do before jetpacks? Seriously. What, we just walked and got in our little bicycles sometimes? 
think jetpack is a great way to get around. Wow. Those are huge. Just for scale, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, pretty freaking huge. Wow. I've said this in other videos, but there is something to be being just a small part in just a big galaxy. You can either look at that as being, you know, depressing. Like, what does it matter? You're so small in this big world. Or you can kind of view it like, what's the matter? You're so small in this big galaxy. Why not? Do what you love. Alright, I'm switching back to first person here. Oh. Is it buried then? Oh, natural barrier site. Yeah, duh. Oh, ow. We'll dig then. Charred Skeletor. 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 Charred Skeletal Fragments. Approximately 716 years old. The skull in this collection of bones boasts an unusual number of eye sockets. What challenges did this creature face in life? to prompt the development of so many eyes. That is quite interesting indeed. Oh my. Thing is huge. Everything is big on this planet. Except for that small little guy. Another burial site that way. And another one that way. You know what? I normally don't go to these. But why not? We'll check them out. The Azure Planet. Makes for a very interesting stargaze. Everything has this red, purple, blue tint to it. You just don't see it on your typical planet or moon. Sorry, this is a moon. I forgot. Okay, we're pretty close now. Oh, well, wouldn't you know it? I didn't realize it would get daylight like this. Very interesting. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. The sounds on this planet. It's actually... Nice enough to set up a base, but it's nice. I'll get you some food, fine. There you go. Alright, let's dig. Ancient. 
ancient bones. Let's see what we got. A time worm skeletal fragment, approximately 715 years old. And we have the same message. The skull in this collection of bones boasts an unusual number of eye sockets. What challenges do this creature face in life to prompt the development of so many eyes? Oh, there's another one. There we go. Alright. Wrong. Um. But was there another one? Maybe not. Well, let's check out that one. We've already committed to this one. It's actually kind of a miracle that I even go back to Night City when the journey is almost endless. Once you start exploring what we refer to as No Man's Sky. All right, well, we've made it. Let's start digging. Time worm. Time worn bones. I thought it said worm. Worn. Worn, not worm. Worn. Worn. What? 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 He did say what a lot. Poisonous to me, but if I kill him, oxygen for me. Booyah. Oh, I wanted to get a beautiful sunset shot here. Sun shot. Didn't want to fall in that hole. Whenever I encounter beauty like this, that makes everything worth it. Oh, it's incredible out here. Not enough to make me want to set up a base. Get it on more stable ground in there we go. So I'm gonna return to my ship and we're gonna go back to our freighter. No. Sorry. We're not going back to the freighter. You know what? <laughs> we are going to go back to the freighter. Okay. We're back aboard the freighter. We're going to look for another galaxy. It wasn't enough to just find one, yet alone a second. No, we're going to go and we're going to find another galaxy to make first contact. Take a while? I don't know. Alright, we have found one. Yontith. Those are the best I'm gonna do with that. An elusive galaxy. Three planets and one moon. Very well. Let us activate our planetary probe. Alright, 
we have a fragmented planet, a high temperature planet, a desolate planet, and an isotopic planet. All right, we have found yet another. First contact, four planets. Let's do our planetary probe. All right. We have a supercritical planet, a toxic planet, a columned planet, and an empty planet. Okay. We are trying to find a vacation planet found another galaxy for us to explore. Let's warp there now. All right, well, aren't we all intrigued? A terraforming catastrophe? Let's check it out. And uh, there's salvageable scrap. So maybe there's enough here that it's worth it. Then again, we should remember that life is a journey, not a destination. So even if it doesn't turn out, it's still enjoyable to see something new. I'm enjoying myself. If you are, would you give this video a like? That'd be great. Let YouTube know, hey, we want ASMR. No Man's Sky videos. We like them. And I'll probably be in Night City next week. Who knows? But if you subscribe, it's always going to be a fun time. Cannot guarantee that promise, but let's just go on this journey together. Okay, let's touch down. Terraforming catastrophe. Uh, pretty, pretty bleak out here. There's absolutely nothing. Mm. Nothing but a really awesome view of the stars. And a beautiful. I know that sometimes we're in such a rush or we need to find a distraction for ourselves, but sometimes we just need to slow down and enjoy the moment you're in, enjoy where you are, even if you aren't where you want to be on your journey, as long as you keep making those steps forward, then you'll get there. Well, if you enjoy rock climbing or mountain climbing, this could be the planet for you. I'm not really feeling it, and that's okay, but we'll still, we'll still touch ground and see if there's anything here too high okay all right hmm oh this is tricky area not clear oh there we It's like a 
bird. Oh. It's not that. Oh. Let's scan this. Seen it like this. Feed it with an ion battery? Okay. There you go. I can't adopt my companion registries full. Well, we are going to change that. Yeah. Scorpidila. Scorpidila. I like it. It's kind of a cool name. Whoa, 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 whoa. You move very fast. Hey, hey, calm down. Feeling sad? No. Then eat something. Alright, well. Now that we have trust. This is kind of interesting. Oh, wow. You really move. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. This is incredible. Wow. See? Oh, it's the most toxic atmosphere I've encountered, apparently. Good thing I have this exosuit. Oh. See, but... It was worth it coming here. This little creature is awesome. It's like a... Super advanced goat. Look at it. It can go so fast. Camera can't even keep up. <laughs> Come with me. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't want to hit. Oh, okay. Copyright infringement. Man. Okay. You are hard to control. You're feeling happy now. Good, 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 good. Is this acid rain then? 111.4 tox. Jeez, man. Oh my gosh. You're like a little puppy. There's really nothing here. A relic. How far away is that? Okay. Let's check it out. Beauty underneath. A vortex cubes. All right. Oh, well, that's good. Kind of interested in what's further down. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Very interesting. <laughs> Halo 
somebody. You are hilarious. Let me ride you again. This will be easier for me. There we go. Oh, man. This little guy is cruising. That's right. I suppose you can't use your jetpack while you're on an animal. <laughs> you're hilarious, Scorpido. Scorpida. Scorpilia. I'm going to call you Scorpion, probably. We are going to continue our search for that vacation destination. First contact, there are only two. No more, no less. Uh, a radioactive planet and a high energy planet. Okay, I'm interested. Um, mainly because it seems like such a great contrast. You know, an ASMR video should be laid back. These are not hard and fast rules, but you know what I mean. I see a red galaxy, I want to paint it black. Man, it's one hell of an asteroid field. Was this the one? All right. Let's check out this high energy planet. What does that even mean? I hope this doesn't change my video, you know. Hey guys, welcome. I'm, I'm here to do my YouTube video, and oh my god, I don't, I don't know. Who is. <laughs> All right. Wow. Pretty beautiful. All right, let's. Let's see what this planet's all about. This high energy planet. I'm gonna switch back to first person. 6.5 rad. Oh. Here are these energy crystal looking things living fragments oh what is this oh sent Corrupted drone. Hmm. 
can destroy or anything here. No. Weird. Hmm. You know, there are so many new things that been added to this galaxy that it's almost hard to keep up. I'm always pressing that wrong button. It's invasive. So we came to this planet, right? Gosh, is there anything else? Hmm. Nothing really in this area. All right, let's get back. First contact, six planets. There we go. I like those odds. There's got to be something here, right? Let's see what that probe has for us. All right. A, col a columned planet. A scaly planet. An incandescent planet. A verdant planet, an ossified planet, and a wine dark planet. Okay, you've piqued my interest. I will check that out. We are now entering the atmosphere of Utah Haga something. Good lord, I cannot pronounce those names. Alright. Well, if you're like me and you like a good rainstorm, this might be promising. The visibility is absolutely terrible right now. But it is a wine dark planet, whatever the f that means. I see water below, it looks like. Oh my god. Alright. I literally cannot. Here we go, I think there's an opening here. to land. Here we go. Wow. That's a heck of a park job right there. Rain of Atlas? Is that what it said? Oh. Moment of truth. It's like the girl with glasses. She's about to take her glasses off. This could be like a really cute planet now. I mean... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh. Look at that. Now look. If you don't know, I've been space traveling for a while. And you don't always land on the part of a planet that gives you such a view. To get those rings around like that, 
at that distance. That's a really cool view. I mean, this is all right, isn't it? Got some rain. The blue is nice and soothing. These trees are giant. Kind of dig it here. And you know what? We've been looking all day for a place to set up a base, and we haven't, have we? Let's change that. Base computer right here. Searching for. Universal Archive search reveals no prior claims on this site. Sonar test confirms site is suitable for construction. Claim site? Let's claim that base. Okay, now first thing I want to do, I want to flatten this up. And uh, look, I am not... I do not have a background in architecture or construction. Uh, so in that regard, I'm not the best traveler, space traveler. Although, I mean, it is called space travel. I do more travel than I do setting up bases. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Let's, I don't know what we should go with, timber, stone, or alloy. Let's go with stone today. Let's, let's do it. So when I set up a base, I set up these walls first. Let's kind of get back to where, something like that. Uh, you only live once, so you don't need to spend too much time thinking it, overthinking it. We're just going to build and see what we come up with today. Um, there's no basement in this Alamo. And let's put some stairs. Hold on, let me reevaluate. It doesn't have to be perfect, your ASMR friend. Let's just do that for now. Okay, so I forgot how involved <laughs> base building can get and how carried away you can get. So I skipped forward ahead just to show you some of the progress I've made. Uh, I'm obviously going to put furniture in here. Still not quite sure where or what I'm going to do with it necessarily, but you know, I've got some windows out here. Oh, I'm obviously going to have to figure that out. There's a leak in there. So yeah. We got all that. Obviously the important part when I build the base, I have my teleport machine. So yep, we're gonna upload it. We came, we saw, we didn't really do too much. But that is the nice thing about ASMR and exploration. It doesn't have to be these big thrills. It's just about the nice, peaceful moments, like finding this beautiful planet. And now I have yet another base I can come to when Night City gets a little too crazy. <laughs>